I'm Alex Polizzi, and I worked in top hotels for over 20 years. I don't know quite what I was expecting, but not this skanky old dog. But as the hotel inspector, I've also seen the worst. There's about five years' worth of dust on there. I've just passed a nice big poo. Now in my tenth year, I'm turning up the heat. Clearly what I need to do is maybe punch him once or twice in the face. What on earth is that abomination on my bed? Well, it's just a kind of bonkers setup, and it has to stop now. I was in a really good mood, you know, once upon a time. If they don't want my help, I'm out. Do you want me to be here? I will go. And if you don't want me to come back, I won't. <sighs> if they don't like home truths, Four. too bad. The rooms are dirty, and I'm not going to stay tonight. This year, I'm in no mood to mince my words. <sighs> this, for me, would be a hotel of last resort. It feels perfectly pleasant, but completely forgettable. As I battle to bring them back from the brink. So struggling with this. This time, a seaside budget hotel. I can see <laughs> new paper shoved in the corner of a window. Where relationships are on the verge of a breakdown. I turned around and said, I apologise. No, I you didn't. You said that. I walked out the door. Guys, please. I always think I've seen the worst of the worst. I always think that there could be nothing left that's going to surprise me. And yet, somehow, now, this time, I'm being taken to a hotel with an exclamation mark at its name. That's a first. And the hotel I'm heading to is the Westwood Ho in the quaint seaside town of Folkestone. The name isn't the only thing that concerns me. This hotel has some of the worst reviews I have ever seen. This is my favourite review I've ever read. Turned up to see scruffy man sprawled on steps. This, it turned out, was the manager. And that manager is 21-year-old Lloyd. When I was younger, I didn't think I'd be a hotel manager, that's for sure. I thought, I don't really know to be. I come from Papa John's working as a pizza delivery driver. Running this 13-bedroom budget hotel close to the Euro Tunnel hasn't come naturally to Lloyd. There's a lot more to being a hotel manager than there is in any of my previous work. It's fun when you're trying to earn a living, I suppose. Working alongside him is childhood sweetheart, 20-year-old Danielle. Lloyd, this mirror is really wonky and wobbly. Yeah, um, reported to the maintenance man. <laughs> the young couple have been living managers of the Westwood Ho for nearly a year. Well, we live on the ground floor, so it's a 24-7 job, like seven days a week. We have no staff, so every duty is basically our duty. So I'll do it. I'll do that, because you don't do it like me. I'm not a big fan of cleaning, so if I can get away of it, sometimes I will. Step back from the ladies' work. Lloyd, he is lazy. If he doesn't have to do something, he won't do it. Overseeing the novice hoteliers is owner John. So I employ Danielle and Lloyd as manager and manageress of the hotel to, to deal with the day-to-day -day running. And I still do the administration myself. I still take the bookings. I manage the website. But I do that from the point of view that I don't think he's ready to step up to that level of responsibility at this stage. Lloyd's uncle managed the place for several years with Lloyd on hand to help, and over time, John saw his potential. He's an intelligent boy, and, and um, he's perfectly capable. After Lloyd's uncle left, realising Lloyd knew the place well, John took a risk and gave him a big break. It was an opportunity, and I didn't know how it was going to pan out. Nearly a year down the line, it's fair to say John's leap of faith isn't quite working out. Well, it was connected. See that option there, look. It's now not working. We have been at loggerheads and, and, and every conversation seems to be an argument. Based over 80 miles away in Essex, John doesn't always see the daily goings-on at the hotel. The biggest challenge I would probably say communication, to be honest. There's been situations where I'm unsure what to do and I haven't received the reply or the advice that I need. I know that he can do it. All he needs is someone kicking him up the arse once in a while. But he's not making the effort to be a hotel manager, essentially. You got a key? Yeah. Where's the hi. 
Anybody would turn around and say, why don't you just pay, sell it, pay your mortgage off. I think I'm convinced that my mother would want me to, to persevere. Having inherited the Westwood Ho from his late mother in 2002, John is desperate to keep her dream alive. My mother, she very much saw a vision of the property as a successful B&B. It was a place where she wanted to come to retire, in actual fact. But with poor staff communication and worsening reviews, John is struggling to turn the place around. I wouldn't be involved in this after 16 years. I didn't think it had potential. At this stage, I need another set of eyes and ears telling me that you're doing this right. It's about investment. Uh, where should I put my money? And, and am I doing the right thing for the financial reasons as well as the uh, you know, emotional ones? I've decided to keep my arrival as a surprise. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, Westwood Ho. But I'm not sure if this was a good idea. Just the sign how dirty everything is. I mean, it just feels very unloved. Judging by the reviews and my first impression, I'm dreading what I'm about to find. 13 is my lucky number. Looks like my luck has just run out. Hi. Hello. I'm Alex. I'm, I'm going Danielle. to stay the night. Nice to meet you. What, are you staying tonight? Yeah. Oh, lovely. You're more enthusiastic than I am about this. <laughs> You've got to be. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Have you got a room for me? I have. Um, it will be our, one of our biggest family rooms. That doesn't matter, does it? No. no. Not a problem. Hopefully, this is one situation where bigger is better. Oh, hi. Oh, this is Lloyd. Hello, I'm my name's Alex. Lloyd. I'm the manager here at the Westwood Ho Hotel. Very nice to meet you. You've got terrible internet presence. I mean, I've never, ever had to stay at a hotel that had 51% terrible reviews. So, quite honestly, I can't tell you I'm looking forward to staying here. When we jumped into it, the building was nowhere near ready to accept any guests yeah. of any time. None. We had no preparation. Nothing. All the rooms hadn't been and sorted. And have you been given any training about what the hell to do? No. no. You look very young to be a manager. How yeah, old are you? I'm 21. I mean, this is definitely a job for someone with energy and yeah. enthusiasm, so you thought to be on your side for this, but I think your lack of experience might be telling on you. 100%. Yeah. OK, so look, um, let's go up to my room. Yeah. It's, it's inevitable that everyone's going to come in for a whole load of criticism. Yeah, we 100%. do. We need as much help and information, really, that we can get. Would you like me to show you Yes, up? please, Would darling, like and I'll me? see you in a bit. Yeah, see you Thank you. Soon. Thanks, Danielle. If you would like to follow me. Thank you. Priced on average at £90 per night, this family room can sleep up to five. Just through here. Well, so I've this got plenty is... of beds to do. Yes, you can pick Thank whatever you. one you'd like. Before we do anything else, and before I decide if I'm going to stay, is there a mattress protector? There is a mattress protector. You can check all of them. I'm sure it's the waterproof ones as well. On the other side, it's got the plastic. Oh, God. Well, I haven't peed the bed for a while, so... <laughs> keys? Keys, one to the main door, one to the bedroom Thanks, door. Darling. All right? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Alex turning up was quite a big surprise. I knew something was going on, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Happy? Oh, I'm fucking ecstatic. I mean, honestly... You know, this is, a not, uh, this is a room to inspire passion in any hot-blooded female. I mean, even from here, I can see what looks like <laughs> loo paper shoved in the corner of a window. I just would like to know what she thinks and how she thinks we can improve. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited to hear her feedback. Is that the face before you've turned the light on? <sighs> this bath looks as if it came with the first wave of baths into this country. And it has been in situ ever since. <laughs> I mean, really. This loo is pretty dispiriting. But it is clean. So, 
Unfortunately, I have no excuse and I must <laughs> throw myself onto the sacrificial pyre and still spend the night here. Um, actually, I've had to stay in worse. Immediately, you see that Danielle and Lloyd are out of their debts, A, uh, not trained, B, well-meaning, but, you know, fairly ignorant in hospitality terms. I'm finding it hard to understand what John was thinking, employing two inexperienced youngsters to run his hotel. Literally, I'm, sp I, I'm kind of speechless. <sighs> I slept all right. I can't really complain. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm at the Westwood Ho in Folkestone, where young managers Lloyd and Danielle... Oh. That's I feel exciting. like a big kid when it snows. Oh, I thought, like, oh, I want to get out there. ...are in charge of a hotel with the worst reviews that I've ever seen. Instead of just telling us about that one thing that we could sort out, they'll decide they don't like anything. So when they write their review, there's everything they don't like. Yeah. There. I just I find the setup completely bizarre. I'm dying to meet John because you know it seems to me that he's kind of abnegated any responsibility for this hotel, and he's given Danielle and Lloyd no professional development. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, darling? I'm very well. How did you sleep? Really good. I slept really well. I was fine. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. OK, I'm going to go down to breakfast. Enjoy. Um, the tea urn is on down there as well, so don't touch it. It is really hot. OK. Enjoy breakfast. Thank you. In budget hotels, it's essential to make sure breakfast is the best experience it can be, even if it's only continental. Tell you what, the smell at this hour in the morning is literally enough to turn my stomach. I mean, it is fetid. Well, look at the glories that await me. <sighs> Cereal. And let's have a look at what these delights are. A croissant filled with cocoa cream. This is my daughter's idea of heaven. Mine somewhat less. Considering the lack of decent coffee and the lack of anything that I consider to be edible, um, I might go out for breakfast. But before I do, I feel the need to seek out manager Lloyd. Hi. You're all right. I'm all right. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Now, when it's quiet, how do you spend your time? Um, so there's not really a lot I do, to be honest. Because I'm just trying to think about what I need to do to professionally develop you. Yeah. You need a lot more training. For most, example, most definitely. it's very quiet in the morning. Why don't you go down to the breakfast room? Why don't you be a bit more present there? So I'm not saying that you're lazy. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying that I feel like you don't have a clear enough idea. I understand that, and we all need training, and obviously, Coming from what I was to what I am now is a massive, massive step. So and I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses for nothing because I can improve on a lot. But this is why we need the help and to be I able to... I understand that. Well, I'm going to try and do that. But this is an opportunity for you and Danielle. Th and this is why... Wait, Sorry, let I don't me mean finish, to please. This is an opportunity because you're young and energetic and I'm going to yeah. be able to teach you easily. And mainly, I just think that we need to develop your role. Yeah. Rather than just being glorified cleaners. We just need training in specific areas. Because I personally haven't been to many hotels in my life, so I, I haven't really experienced that side of things. OK. Thank you. Pleasure, darling. The more I learn, the more baffled I become. It's time to talk to the organ grinder. I mean, I'm just longing to meet John. He's the missing part of the puzzle, and until I meet him, I don't think I get the full picture. I've arranged to meet John a taxi ride away, where I hope he can talk freely. Do you take customers there sometimes? I have been there and picked an odd person up occasionally, but sort of like one every five years, I think. OK. I'm hoping John will be able to paint a more positive picture. Thank you so much. OK, thank Bye. you very much. Bye-bye. Hi. You must be John. I am. I'm Alex Felizzi. So nice to meet you. <sighs> so, tell me what on earth makes you want to run this hotel and what your vision is for it. I believe that there's a future in it, and, and I would like to develop it to its full potential. What do you put all the bad reviews down to? 
I mean, well, I've never stayed somewhere where there's 51% terrible reviews before. Well, you know, whilst I accept that, you know, that there are bad reviews, a lot of people have false expectations of what to get from a budget hotel place. Well, that's not fair. But, you know, I accept that uh, the reviews are not enough. And do you have any background in hotels or hospitality or anything like that? Not in hotels, no. And neither did Danielle and Lloyd. No, that's true. So who's telling who what to do and how to do it? Um, I'm, well, I'm telling him whether it's this or not is another matter, but... I'm interested, because you've taken on this young couple to, to do whatever. I'm not going to call them managers, because I think that's overstating their roles, to tell you the truth. But you've put these custodians in charge of your building, and then you haven't given them any skills. You know, I, I feel like they need to be trained and they need to be upskilled. And I'm afraid telling people things when they don't know how to do them is not really enough. I've known Lloyd for a number of years and, and he's familiar with that property. And yeah. he's, he watched and, and helped his uncle who used to run the, the, the property. I'm sure he has the knowledge to know what he should be doing. Okay. I'm still not convinced why John made Lloyd and Danielle managers, but seeing as he has, if he's not going to invest in them, I'll have to. Having had time to think, I've come up with a plan. Hello. Hi, young man. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I was really shocked that you'd been put in a position of having to run a hotel with so little experience of hotels yes. as a customer. So, I've had a genius idea. I'm going to send you to Boulogne-sur-Mer, which is um, the French version of Folkestone to show you how they do budget hotels on the continent. Thank you. That'd be really nice. And I'm hoping that it will give you some ideas that you can bring back and use yeah. at Westwood Ho. OK? OK, then. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Back yeah. up, pack your kit, see you tomorrow in France. Thank you, bye. She's going to meet us tomorrow in France. Oh! Tomorrow morning. He's got to go and see how other people are doing it. Um, without any experience himself, he's going to have to nick every idea. So you've got everything, passports, purse, yep. keys? Yep. just walk, just Let's walk. Go. See you later. Bye. Twinned with Folkestone and a short journey away across the channel is Boulogne-sur-Mer. And the very same day, Danielle and Lloyd have arrived at the Hotel Metropole for an inspirational visit. <gasps> This hotel is independently owned, recently refurbished, and targets the same budget tourists as the Westwood Ho. Bonjour. This is Hotel Metropole. So can I help you? We've got a reservation. Yes, your name is? It's Lloyd. Yes, welcome to the Hotel Metropole. So you have a room for this evening, that's yep. right? Perfect. Breakfast is from 6.30 until 11 o'clock on the breakfast room, if you... So this is the breakfast room? Yep. So you have a buffet with bread, viennoiserie, cheese, ham, eggs. Lovely. Yeah. Voilà. Follow me, please. With rooms from £60 a night, this clean, crisp interior is complemented with exemplary customer service. So this is your room? Very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, OK, thank you thank so you. much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you. you. I hope that Lloyd and Danielle are paying attention. They need to learn lessons in both substance and style. Nice and high. Oh, it's lovely. Very, nice, very smart, nice. tidy, well presented. I'm expecting their first night in a hotel together That's to leave them refreshed and ready to get to work in the morning. 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 Good morning. This is a bit nicer than your dank little basement, isn't it? Just a smidge. How was your night? Very nice. Beds were very comfortable. I mean, that's what you get here. And it's nice. Mm. Look at the breakfast. See I what know, I really it is. Like yeah, it's a really good selection. Stand up. It looks very nice. It yeah. does. Again, presentation is really a big part of it. Were you shown in this room when you checked in? Yeah, we, we were shown into the breakfast area before we were shown upstairs to the room. When I was staying with you, you weren't so busy that you couldn't have taken me down to the breakfast room. 
No. Um, it's a quite nice thing, isn't it? Yeah, it was actually um, really nice. And it just makes, makes you feel a bit more looked after. Yeah. All right. With ideas for breakfast to think about, I also have some interior inspiration to show them. So, what I want you to note here are how clever this is. This is a very plain room. They've chosen one primary colour and they've accented it. So there's the yellow there, there's the yellow in the picture, there's the yellow in the chair. Yeah. Yes. Now, the bigger problem that you guys have is I do think you've got to stop being glorified cleaners and try and have a bit of a longer term strategy. What I'm saying is I really understand that this is not all in your hands, but you've got to grow up a bit. You can actually make your jobs more interesting. It's really challenging with John. He doesn't like anything that Lloyd says. Um, and John's answer is get on with the cleaning because that is your job. And well, he doesn't like to he does not like to take any suggestions from us. It's obvious that there needs to be better communication and clearly defined job roles for any improvements to take place at the Westwood Ho. Just over an hour later, we're back in Blighty and brimming with ideas. Good afternoon, dear sir. How Good are you? Good afternoon, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. We thought we'd report back from France. I mean, 60 euros gets you a, a really nice room in Boulogne. Um, what did you guys think? Go on, tell, talk. It was really nice, really well presented. Plain, yeah. simple, but smart. So I think really it's just what the next step should be. Should we go up to room two? Yeah, okay. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. Okay. Come on. Comparatively, the standard double room in the Metropole costs on average £10 less than a standard double room in the Westwood Ho. Here, the room costs more and delivers far less. Right, so this room was obviously slept in last night and it's a room I slept in. I don't mean to be brutal, but this for me would be a hotel of last resort. You know, you come here because it's cheap. You don't come here because it's nice. Mm. You know, you've got four beds all with different headboards. Um, a desk with no chair. You've got no chair anywhere in the building. You've got lots of other big hefty furniture, none of which is that useful because actually most people only stay one night. Mm -hmm. So what I'm suggesting is that I should do this room and this bathroom for you, but I do not want to, you to expect miracles. This is a building that's been battered over the years. This has to be a kind of long-term project. And you guys, I think it's very important that you guys work together and work out the parameters of your relationship a bit better. Because I think there's a lot of he said, she said, he does, he does. And that's not mm -hmm. really very productive. <clears throat> Do you think that's fair, John? Yeah, that sounds fair to me. Yeah? I'm excited. I'm excited. There, end of the lesson. OK. I'm not even sure still who's in charge of this place. John's trying to pull the strings from afar. I think Daniel and Lloyd are doing the best they can. They want to do better. They want to know more. And I don't think John is necessarily the person to do that for them. Hopefully, I can help a bit. To give them some inspiration, I'm going to make over the room I stayed in to add cohesion and style and act as a template for them to roll out in the future. I'm excited to see what she's going to do for us and excited to see what we can do. And we all want the same outcome, so that is a positive thing. But as soon as my back is turned, there's a bolt out of the blue. I put in my resignation to resign as the manager because I'm no longer happy of the way it's been running, no longer happy of the lack of respect we are receiving, and it's not working out at the moment. And we um, have tried our hardest. Yeah, we've we, we put, put in 100%, do you know what I mean? Now that this has happened, we, we've had to move out and we're living back in a bedroom at my parents' house. Hmm. Folkestone, an inexperienced team and poor communication have resulted in a war of words between owner John and manager Lloyd. And I need to find out exactly how the breakdown occurred. Hello. Hi, darling, it's Alex Polizzi. What's happening with you guys? 
It's all a bit of a commotion, really. John keeps talking down to us and disrespecting us. And, you know, he's, he's constantly got a problem with something, um, constantly belittling us. And it's just getting too stressful, do you know what I mean? Yes, well, it definitely sounds to me like you could do with some mediation. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it all, they all sort of fired up quickly, to be honest. We didn't take it how we should have. And how this is going to end up, or whether Danielle and Lloyd are going to stay on board, whether they're going to go on being involved with the Westwood Hill or not. Um, you know, there's some bridges to build. So I'm heading back to find out what's going on. I'm incredibly nervous about today. I'm just not sure that Humpty Dumpty can be put back together again at this point. Before we congregate, I need to hear John's version of events. Hi, John. Hi. Sorry, things are so stressful. Why did it all blow up? What happened? We had a frank exchange of, uh, of views. I kind of misjudged how perhaps upset he was getting with the things that I was, was mentioning. And yeah. uh, in the end, you know, he just said, look, I'm resigning. And, but I kind of said, OK, well, if you want to go, then go now. Um, oh, my God. So it kind of escalated. You know, that conversation all took place by chat, and, and I didn't really speak to him very much that day. The next day when I came down was when the language and the accusations and everything else came out that basically make it more and more difficult for me to want him to have any part in the business whatsoever. I have asked everyone to meet me so that I can help them resolve their differences and try and salvage the situation. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Lloyd. But right now, with their fractured relationship, I wonder just how much I'll be able to achieve here, if anything at all. Hi, John. Hi. So I'm glad we're all together. Shall we all go and sit down? Yeah, yeah. Come on, then. I think it's clear that there's been both a breakdown in the relationship and a serious breakdown in communication. I would hope that at the end of this conversation, everyone gets a chance to say their bit. And then, one way or the other, we come to a resolution. Lloyd, would you like to say how you feel at the moment and I'd, what you would like to happen? Well, yeah. obviously, I'd, we've, we've had time to think about it. I don't feel that it's beneficial for us anymore to be in the position we was. Um, it's been an experience past year, but it's clearly not worked out. OK. The day we left, right, John keeps messaging me, messaging me and slewing me, telling me he's going to take me down to a hotel that's not even a popular hotel and get the housemaids to teach us how to clean and stuff like that. And that is a kick in the gut. Cos... Yeah. It is constant and it's tiring and draining and if the business needs success, we, it's not going to with these two. John? Um, well... I think where Lloyd and I differ is that when you do something wrong, you put your hands up to it and you apologise. No, that's, that is totally nonsense. So what you're saying <clears throat> is that you, you behave perfectly, you never make mistakes no. and, and you never apologise. No you one's apologize perfect. Them, do you? No you one's perfect. Them, do you? I've apologised on many occasions when I am in a wrong. What we're trying to work out is, you know, is there an end? This, if there's an end to this relationship, it doesn't matter what's happened before. Well, when what spoken words in the manner that was spoken to me on that Sunday, any kind of reconciliation has to start with an apology. I never called anybody a, an FFC. If there's going to be a rec any kind of reconciliation and an all right if you pass in the street, the first thing would be to apologise for that. Do you not agree and with that? And I apologise. You can not apologise. On that day, I turned round and said, I apologise, whereas you thought no, I said... No, you didn't. I did you said that and walked out the door, you liar. Said, he's talking about after when you called him a fucking... Yeah. And on that day, I turned round and said, I apologise. At the time, the pair of you were both just as high rate as one another. And then when we come out of the room, he did say, 
I do apologise. And you went, no, you fucking didn't. You didn't say that you apologised. You didn't apologise. No, 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 get the fuck outside. That's when it all went wrong. So it was both of you. I do think you should apologise for saying, for calling him that. Well, I am sorry. I shouldn't have said it. It did get a lot heated and we was both swearing at each other. OK, so is that an apology? <laughs> Not really, is it? You can't run a business with two people that are constantly at each other's heads. It won't work. Would you agree? Yeah. OK. Well, I think at least that, so now we know where we are. I think, you know, we just have to accept that the situation is as it is, but I think it would really be a shame if you can't at least part as amicably. You know, darling, no, one, no, one's, no one's a bad person here. I want to try and leave on a good terms. I know it's difficult, um, but it's obviously if we can achieve that, then that, that's a plus for me, and then I'll, I can move on in life and start a new chapter, so. Well, we all need to move on, absolutely, and uh, I'm quite, I would be more than happy for it to be in some kind of an amicable way, but I won't be chaining anybody's hand. OK. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Daniel. Bye, darling. See you later. See you Bye. Soon. Bye. Thank you for your help. Thanks. Adios, guys. See you later. That definitely was not how I wanted it to end. I think you didn't handle that particularly well. Someone has got to be the better man, and I was hoping it was going to be you. At least, if nothing else, we know that this relationship is at an end. So now you make your decisions accordingly. Yeah? It's a new beginning for the Westwood Ho, and John has wasted no time making changes. He's decided to revamp the dining room. We'll start from this corner over here and work our way round through that cladding. But the problem is it's a working room, so we need to try and minimise the impact as much as we can. And he's appointed a new manager, his daughter, Kimberly. Hi. Hello, Kimberly. Hello. I'm Alex. Hello. Can Alex. I come in? Yes, of course you can, yeah. Thanks. She has good experience in hospitality, so she's well suited to this kind of role, but it is being thrown in at the deep end. Is this where you're staying? It is at the moment, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, got everything going on. How do you feel about moving here? Um, I'm quite excited. Yeah, Are you? I've, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I've worked in customer service for over eight years, so, yeah, I'm, I feel like I've got a, a good ground there. You know. I think this place needs a lot of, uh, still, I know your dad's invested a lot, but it still yeah. needs a lot more investment. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad that they're doing the breakfast room. I mm -hmm. personally would like you to look at breakfast yeah. before you do anything else, because sure. I think that's not very yeah. impressive. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you'll like what I do next door. I'm um, looking forward to seeing it, yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, I'm now going to be working with you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> It's been an eventful day and I'm leaving with mixed feelings. Kimberly seems willing and I hope she proves to be the right person for the job. So, room C. Um, we need to check the, the soap as well. It's been two weeks since Kimberly was appointed as manager of the Westwood Ho and she's wasting no time getting stuck in. Uh, vanity light working. Yep. She's even roped in partner Jack to help. Um, no, I think we're up for the challenge. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Jack's worked in a hotel before and restaurants as well, learning the ropes and yeah. serving the customers. Yeah. <laughs> Checking them in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my makeover gathering pace at the hotel, John's also been inspired to join in and invest extra time and money to maximise the benefits. It even seems to have cheered John up. I'm not sitting down on the job. But we're a long way off any kind of success yet. The hotel has been plagued by a raft of bad reviews, so it's vital that we get this new room ready as soon as possible to try and turn things around. I think it'll be a wow factor room. They'll um, walk in and see that it's quite a very modern design for kind of an old-fashioned building. Coming up, I'm back at the Westwood Ho one last time. 
I've decided to get a family in to road test that room. To see if Kimberly and John are ready for my final test. Oh, God, you've got any lid no on the beds yet? No, no, no time to let the grass grow under our feet. Perfect. It's my final visit to the Westwood Ho in Folkestone. Is there much to do with room six bathroom to get it to a similar standard as two? I don't think there's a lot to do with it, really. And with father and daughter now running things, the atmosphere is a lot calmer. Kimberly's uh, shaping up very well. She's certainly got a strong work ethic, so no complaints from me. But I still need to battle the bad reviews. So I'm back with some ideas up my sleeve. Hi. Hi. How has it been going? Yeah, good. Busy, but yeah, enjoying it. Getting Are there. You? Yeah, yeah. So you're getting stuck in? It's quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I'm really feeling very positive about it. With the help of his daughter, John seems to have solved his management problem, but his work in the dining room has created another one. A big, damp issue has caused chaos downstairs. Fucking hell. It's had the living daylights knocked out of it. This will give them the perfect opportunity to redecorate this so it's not such a complete depressing room. To keep guests happy, a good hotelier has to solve all manner of problems. I'm about to add another into the mix, which will test John and Kimberly's ability to cope. Hi. Hi, Alex. How are you? How are you? Just... Bloody hell, you've been a bit up against it down there. It's been uh, not a very smooth journey. Anyway, I thought after last time, I've decided to get a family in to road test that room, hopefully get some positive feedback. But I just want to see what they think about how we set out the room, how user-friendly it is. They're coming home from France, don't worry. Is it tonight? Tonight. Wow, OK. okay. <laughs> Have you got any little no on the beds yet? No, no, no time to let the grass grow under our feet. And I think it would be nice at this point to feel as if we're on the right path at last. And I've never seen you with customers. So it gives me a chance to observe you in your new role. Yeah? Yep. OK. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, he clearly completely trusts Kimberly. And I think that's the huge advantage, isn't it, to working with your family when it works. There's definitely a renewed sense of energy, helped by my design team transforming a bedroom. Turning what was once a bland and dispiriting offering into a bright and modern family space. With the room refurbished, it's time to put it to use. So I've invited a French family to road test the accommodation. So I am hidden away in the downstairs room and I have this set up so that I can watch what Kimberly's customer service is like. I haven't ever really seen Kimberly with guests and this is my chance. Here they come. Hello. 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 How are you? Good evening. Thank good you. Good evening. Fine. Thank you. Good. Was your journey good here? Bit, um, yeah. You're out of the rain now. Unfortunately, yeah, caught the very British weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what she has done that's very nice is come out and talk to them outside the little office and booth. Can you advise us a good place for? Yes, I can. There's the lovely Italians. There's a Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? And I can show you on a map where they'd be as well. Brilliant. That'd be great. Okay. I'll show you up to your room now. You're on the first floor. So Kimberly's being really charming. She managed the restaurant question very well. Really good start. It's warm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, Nearly refurbished for you. Wow. Oh, look at the view. You can sometimes see over to France on a clear day. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. This is where we are. The town I did this right. test because I was worried that John had thrown Kimberly in at the deep end, but she seems to be passing with flying colours. Just to remind you, that's your room key just there, number two. Very charming, very engaging. Mm hmm, it looks comfortable. That went really well. Good. It seemed to me. Good. You were charming. Thank you. So I'm going to come in and see you over breakfast, yep. then I get a chance to chat to them. Hopefully, all goes well. Have a good evening. Thank you. And you. With a limited kitchen and the dining room still in turmoil, preparing breakfast for my discerning guests will pile on the pressure. What am I missing? Just tote through. It'll be interesting to see how Kimberly copes. Morning, morning. Good morning. Morning. So, um, is this for our French family? It is, yep. Yeah. Good. 
Well, so what pastries do you give them? Um, we have Ooh. some pan au chocolat and... <laughs> not super <laughs> No, not that. Exhibit no. A, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a big difference in price? Um, no, I think uh, they, work out they cheaper. may even be cheaper, yeah. Yeah, they're cheaper. Oh, well, honestly, you've transformed breakfast in one fell swoop. When I stayed at the hotel, I refused to even eat breakfast here. It's great that Kimberley is taking steps to change it. You get the heavy one. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. morning. And without a dining room, breakfast trays are a great idea. I put it over here. OK, great. Great, I'll see thank you in a you. moment. That's all right, you're welcome. Enjoy, thank you. She handled breakfast quite well. She's upgraded breakfast considerably. All in all, I think, you know, things are looking really positive. With the history of so many terrible online reviews, it's vital my French guests have a positive customer experience. Morning, how are you? Fine. Fine. Yes? Did you sleep well? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, we all had a very good night. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, the beds are very comfortable. I love it. <laughs> and you woke up to a nice view, which is nice good. View. We can see the continent. Yay! Yeah, you've got your view. Uh, I know. OK, yes. good. Very good, very good. What did you think of the price, £80 for the night? It's good value for money. Yeah. I think we'll come again. Good, I'm <laughs> so pleased that you liked it. I really am. Is this the kind of place you'd feel comfortable recommending to your friends or somewhere to use as a stopover? Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. Fantastic, thank you. This is a ringing endorsement for what we've managed to achieve. It's been a turbulent journey for John, but by sticking with it, I hope he now feels that he's stayed true to his mother's wishes. There must have been times when you've been tempted to sell the Westwood home, have there? Definitely, but, you know, every time I come back here, I have a lot of memories of, of Folkestone and, and of the hotel from when my mum had it, and to part with them would be hard. Kimberley's ambitious to, to, to develop it and take it forward, and, and that legacy is, is something that uh, well, I hope she'll pass on to the next generation as well. I, I think the Westwood Ho has become what it should always have been, which was a family business, and I hope it works out well for you, because I think, you know, your mother would surely... That must have been her intention... Absolutely. ..to have it as something that was handed on through the generations. The experience has been inspiring. We're going in the right direction now and uh, hopefully onwards and upwards. I'm leaving the Westwood home in a happier place than I found it. You know, John seems happier, Kimberly seems really chilled, and I think if anyone's going to make it work, it'll be them. <laughs>